In this example, they tell me that A, B, and C are collinear, which means on the same line. And they tell me that B is in between A and C. They go on to give me a ratio. And then they tell me that A is at this coordinate and B is at another coordinate. So it's really important whenever you're dealing with ratios that match up to segments that you decide whether it's part to part or part to whole. So when I look at this, they tell me that the two ends are A and C. So the whole segment is AC. So when they write this ratio, AB to AC, and they tell me that it's two to three, AC is the whole entire thing. So this is gonna be a part to whole ratio. I can start by graphing these two points and labeling the letters. So negative eight, nine is gonna be up here. That's A. And negative six, five is gonna be right here, that is B. I'm gonna go ahead and connect it with a ruler or a protractor. All right, now in this example, I know that C is gonna need to be down here somewhere because they're telling me that the whole segment is called AC. B is somewhere between A and C. And then they gave me some clues to figure it out. So they gave me from A to B, and they're telling me that that represents two sections. So if I can figure out what the move is to get two sections out of this, which is basically gonna be the slope, I can start figuring out how to solve the rest of it. So I'm gonna first figure out the slope from A to B. So if I go down four and I go over two, that's a slope of negative four over two which would reduce to negative two over one. So I can do my steps down two over one, put a dot, down two over one, put a dot. So my move that I'm doing is down two to the right one. And I did that move two times from A to B. Now the whole thing says I'm supposed to do the move three times to get from A to C. So this is one section, this is two sections. I just need a third section to get from A to C. Now this is different from the other example that we did where they started out by saying A to B and we finished off by this part just being from B to C. So if I was supposed to continue this and do three more moves starting from B. But in this example, I'm only going from A to C and it's supposed to be three sections long. So if I already went down two over one, down two over one, and that's two sections long, I just need to do it one more time to make it three sections long. So this is three sections from A to C and it's two sections from A to B. So I can write down that coordinate, which is negative five, three for my answer.